Hi guys. So as promised, um, I'm going to try and do a couple of videos um, with a few tips and tricks to using visible geology. Um, I'm going to make these pretty quick, so they, they are going to be simple, but hopefully it's just ideas that you guys can build on and, um, and you know, people can share and, um, and post their ideas as well. Um, and that would be awesome if we, if we saw a bit of that. So uh, getting straight into it, clicking on the Geological Explorer. First thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to clear some of these layers because I want to start with a, a blank canvas. So what I'm wanting to build today is a, a magma chamber with maybe um, a kind of a some uh, some outflowing um, I don't know, basaltic lava flows as well, for example. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a, a very simple pluton um, to our model. So this kind of gives us the very, very basic mushroom shape um, of, a, of a stylistic classic um, plutonic intrusion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right, um, the mushroom part of it, right up to the top of the um, model. And I'm going to apply that. Um, and in order to kind of turn this shape into a magma chamber, I'm going to tilt the entire thing um, right onto its head, uh, literally and figuratively. So it's done part of the job for me. So I'm going to bring it all the way over and just follow the model around. And there we go. So I've kind of created a bit of a magma chamber now. Um, and what I can do is pop over here and play around with um, the topographies to get a topography that I, I think um, might reflect what's happening in the evolution of, of this landscape and, and, and the um, volcanic history. Um, and what you can do is you can build um, Pluton on, on Pluton on Pluton um, to sort of emulate um, the, the, the landscape and the um, interpretation and, and evolution of the system as, as, as you're sort of imagining it. So say for example I actually want to make um, that vent uh, a little bit thinner, I just pop back into the original one, I make it a bit thinner, come back up to the latest in the history um, and that's there too. If I want to bring this Pluton um, from the edge of the model, you know, I mean, it's a nice way of visualizing it, but if I, I want to kind of bring it into the, the center of the model, and I'm a bit worried about losing the visibility of it, what you can also do is pop a cross section um, in there, um, and that will kind of give you a little bit of an additional visual aid to, to where your model might, might place. So I pop back in here, um, edit this, um, bring it in, there you go, that's spot on, and I apply all the changes again and there we go. Um, very stylistic, I know, but um, handy nonetheless. So hopefully that's given you guys a little bit of an idea about how you can layer these um, events one on top of the other, but just with a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of out-of-the-box thinking can create something that it doesn't necessarily, um, you know, spring to mind initially with the, with the label or with the name of, of the event. There you go.